My name is Chris Shepard from Chicago Recording Company. We're located downtown Chicago. We've been in business since 1975. Uh, we've got 14 studios, 9 posts, 3 music. Uh, we're in Studio 5 today going over some of our uh, equipment. You gotta be real careful tracking through an 1176. Better to mix through them, but tracking bass, fine. Um, maybe guitars, fine. The difference between the the black ones and the uh, and the gray ones. The gray one here really uh, it has a certain distortion feature to it that I like, and I really don't want the tech to fix this one because it has a cool distortion. We uh, we're crazy with 1176s here. We have a lot of them in house. They all sound different. We've shot them all out to listen to them. We kind of know which ones are great. Um, the top one here is really great. The red one, mm, it's okay. Bottom one, third. But the uh, the top one is fantastic. Once again, it's just... Uh, no, they're you know. from different runs? Well, yeah, there's different serial numbers. When okay. you look at the... Uh, there's letters on 1176s. If you look at the history of um, Bill Putnam and how he designed these, he kept changing them. You know, the E's, the D's, the F versions. Uh, this one is really special. But uh, all three of these are from the same series, uh, handmade, so they're all different. Um, it's really great, like when you're plugging in and you're setting your tracking session up, and you're using your base DI, the assistant already knows that he's going to be standing over there and listening to all three of them real quick. Because even though I know it's probably going to be the first one, I still want to hear all three of them uh, real quick. So um, really great to listen if you've got several 1176s in the room it's great to listen to all of them real quick a lot of times i'll if i'm in a different studio i'll plug just a cd program into them listen to each one and just feel it real fast if you know 1176s it only takes a second to go okay that one's special mark that one you just know it um they tend to really have a pumping sound and so if you're really looking to pump an overhead on a drum kit um a la levy breaks this is this is where you're going oh, okay that's where you're going. If you want the, the, the sound like the back of the throat of the vocalist, that's where you're going. Uh, guitars on this one, just great because of the distortion. 